Well, if you're looking for a USA made pocket knife for under $15, this is it, the Gerber US-1. Pick this up over at Walmart for $13.95. Welcome, folks, to the channel. Welcome to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical. I am your host, Aaron. Going to do a quick video for you. I'll be running in some action along the way as I have tested out this little pocket knife. You know, it's just kind of purchased on a whim. So inexpensive. I, and I've had 50-50 you know, experience with some of Gerber's more inexpensive USA-made uh, products. I have purchased over at Walmart in the past two of the Commuters, which is its big brother, and uh, was not impressed because of uh, a burr that continually tends to happen while it hits the locking mechanism. I've heard from my viewers that that may have been fixed, uh, so I am planning on purchasing a new one of these down the line. Uh, so I wanted to see if this one, you know, was uh, better, was a little bit better designed uh, for under $15. And, you know, just to talk concept with you as well, I want to talk EDC concepts and uh, to give you a, kind of some food for thought. So if you're a regular viewer or you're new to the channel, uh, I encourage you to stick throughout this video because you're not only just going to see the ins and outs of the knife, but I want to throw in some EDC concepts for you that you may not have thought of before because I'm just recently beginning to think about these things myself. And if you are new to the channel and you're watching this video, I encourage you to check out some of our other videos. We're throwing up videos every single week. Consider subscribing and becoming part of the Gideon's Tactical family. We're throwing up videos every single week with full comprehensive information to give you guys good data points so you know how to spend your hard-earned money wisely. That's what we always want to do here at the channel and always help you to stay equipped and stay prepared with everything life throws your way. So with that, what is this knife thrown at us? Well, obviously USA made in Portland, Oregon. That's always cool to see. And at under $15, you can pick them up at any of your local Walmarts as well as many other sporting goods stores and hardware stores and that type of thing. What makes this thing so unique is first off, on top of its price point being USA made, is that this thing comes in at like 1.1 ounces. This thing weighs next to nothing, will weigh about the, the, the weight of maybe two ballpoint pens in your pocket. That's about its maximum weight, which is fantastic. And I'm always looking at knives that are cutting down on weight. Now, the blade itself is 2.6 inches long, so it's gonna fly under the radar under almost every, you know, um, blade length restriction out there uh, in the world that I am aware of. And the actual cutting edge is going to be about two and a half inches. It is a hollow grind with a classic drop point, fantastic relief edge. I've found that Gerber really hits it home when it comes to the relief edges. It's always razor sharp out of the box. Really digging that good belly there. And again, just a, a classic, you know, drop point design there. It is made out of 420 HC steel, uh, which is a semi rust resistant steel. You know, it's a semi high carbon um, stainless steel, you know, type of, of steel. Gerber does a good job with it for the price point of under $15. It's very doable. Is it a super steel? Absolutely not. You will have to tune this up a lot. Uh, but for, you know, just cutting through small packaging, you know, some cardboard boxes, you know, Amazon sends you a new package uh, and you need to open it up. You know, you need to maybe cut, you know, some, uh, a package for your kid, you know, for some, some new toy, a Blu-ray, whatever it may be. This thing works great. And then you just maybe once or twice a week, throw it on a ceramic rod or even turn a coffee mug upside down, stroke it on the edge a few times and you'll be good to go. Razor hair popping sharp again. So this is what makes this knife so lightweight is that it's a glass reinforced nylon with a rubber in mold right here, giving you some really good texturing. You're looking at uh, about 3.6 inches overall length. I wear large size gloves. You can see there's some, it's got a really nice cut in and some mild jimping right there. So for a little compact knife, you're actually really locked into place. And then basically this is gonna give me three fingered grip. My pinky is not on the knife. If this is not a tactical blade or you know some super hard utility knife, this is for lightweight EDC tasks. I have very good control over it. I'm locked in. I'm not going to accidentally slide up, hurt myself. Feels very good in the hand and kind of warm to the touch. But you know, again, it's very mild, you know, precision type of stuff you're going to be doing with this knife. It's ultra thin, which is really nice. No liners to worry about, and just a very simple lock back design that's very easy for you to disengage one handed. It'll just hit your that Ricasso will hit your finger right there. You can close that bad boy one-handed and then open that guy up. It does have a nail nick, so that will also help with many of you overseas or that have very strict you know, uh, laws. This is able to be opened one-handed. I can do it just by putting pressure right here on the joint 
on those pins. There are no screws. They're just pinned in holes here. Nice little lanyard hole on the back. But uh, again, easily, I just put a little pressure on there and I can easily open that one-handed even though it is a nail nick design. So that is something just to consider, be aware of. And uh, no pocket clip to speak of. And really that's where this comes to the crux. You know, what 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 good is this then? I mean, you know, yeah, nice. It's weighs nothing. It's, you know, made out of 420, USA made, you know, and it comes in under $15. But why would you buy this knife if you're a knife lover? This is how I really see this knife fitting into a system. Say you're not really interested in carrying some sort of multi-tool on your keychain. It's just too big, cumbersome, maybe you just don't see a need for it, but you love knives and you want to carry a pocket knife and you have, say, a tactical folder like the Gerber Propel Downrange or the Gerber Zero Six. Both of these available over at Blade HQ, links below. Help support the channel when you guys use those hyperlinks that we offer to you. Now, both of these knives are awesome, and you know, some people just don't like carrying uh, these knives and then having to put them into basic EDC tasks, dulling the blade, you know, having to use it just to cut the basic stuff. They carry these maybe for self defense or really hard utility, and they want to save their edge for that. And these larger, bigger, more tactical feeling knives just aren't great for, you know, lots of slicing and very precise, you know, detailed work, opening fine packaging, going through cardboard, those type of things, you know, versus a really thin, lightweight blade like this with a hollow grind is just going to do better. So you can carry this guy for less than $15 and less than, you know, two ounces on your keychain. Use this bad boy all day long to do all of your light EDC tasks. Still carry one of these big, you know, high end, high priced, you know, good quality products for the, the harder tasks or the self-defense tasks. And you, then you don't have to bust these out for the minute task. That's really where I see this system really working well and where I see the um, US one really fitting in and or to those people to give as gifts that you don't know if they're really going to be into knives, but you're into knives and maybe you want to start to get them, you know, into it. Maybe they're uh, a young, you know, uh, student. Maybe they're just getting in the Boy Scouts, something like that. You don't want to drop a ton of money and you want something that's very simple and not, um, you know, this de definitely looks, you know, scary. You bust this out, you know, at your local McDonald's to, you know, bust open a, a package, you know, for your kid. Uh, everyone's going to be looking at you like, whoa, versus you bust out this little guy on your keychain, not a big deal. And a lot of people kind of dig that. Or, you know, maybe a girlfriend or wife, uh, very easy to fit on my wife's keychain, you know, something like that, that people see the you, the value of the utility, but they either don't have the money or interest in carrying large tools that maybe are a little more high end. This is a great starter knife as well for those type of activities. And I do want to touch on the fact that unlike... Again, my commuter that bangs up against the lock bar and then causes a little burr to occur on the blade. That has not happened at all with this US-1. Uh, there, there's enough clearance, you know, and I've done everything I could to try and get a burr to occur on this blade and I cannot get it to happen. So uh, this is fantastic. And for, again, the price point, I think it's a great little um, item to throw into an EDC system or to gift to those who might start to be interested in pocket knives. So there you have it, folks. Hopefully this video has helped you with your decision on whether or not the next time you run into a Walmart, dropping about $14 on this knife will be worth as a gift or for your own systems. That is what I always want to try and do here at the channel is give you guys those good comprehensive full videos so that you guys can make that wise choice. And I want to thank you for coming over here today and checking out the channel. So please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Any questions that you have, I'll answer in the comments below about this blade. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.